Hey guys, it's Will here. It's been a while. Stuff's been going on, I'm trying, but it's been hard, busy, people coming in and out and stuff. Finally got all the stuff set up early as I'm about to leave here. So this is what you will be seeing in the morning. So there's a quite a bit, a lot of number ones coming in the next future here because of the whole the DC stuff and Marvel doing things. But let us take a quick dive into what's coming out. Some important news coming up. Um, the community, as you guys know, have uh, been wanting to do stuff with since the virus closed us down for events. So we have been doing um, things on our Discord. Link is in this video if you guys are interested. It's for all you guys that are comic file guys. You get exclusives on there. And like you can join us for live streams and all that stuff. Got gaming stuff, comic stuff, painting stuff, just chilling. Uh, if you have questions, that's the quickest way to get answers from us is to add a staff member on there. We'll be able to answer you directly. So all that good noise, of course. Uh, take a look at the rules section when you join. Click the thumbs up emoji on the bottom and it will automatically sign you up. Go to the roles section and select what you're into and it should get you all set up. So with that announcement out of the way, we're going to be doing our live streams again starting out this Friday coming up. But next week, Friday, from 3 to 8, be streaming the first two hours of it. Uh, so like the guys at the store will be on the Discord streaming video answering questions, all that stuff for the first two hours. And then after that, it'll basically be free range, everybody, all the adults and stuff. We have sections, so if you have kids, don't have to worry about mixing in with the adults and all the language and stuff that they may bring up because it is a more chilled zone. We do say it is kind of a PG-13 setting because again, it's just like our event nights, which were, again, I would recommend, myself personally would recommend that it was like a PG-13 sort of setting. So, on that note, feel free to join, uh, wh whatever you want, answer questions, all that. It's now Pokemon and all that stuff's got huge, so we play on there. Besides that, Time Spiral is coming out as remastered, so if you guys are into that, please let us know. We can take info, answer questions about how that's going to work as best as we can, because they like to keep us in the dark for a bit, till like a week or two before we can start taking pre-orders. So, that's fun. Pokemon, new battle set comes out on the 19th so make sure to get your elite trainer boxes and booster boxes in come in let us excuse me a lot of air uh let us know by coming in telling us what you want uh put your name down don't know if we'll be limiting allocations uh, i don't have to worry about this set on like shining fates where it was a limited like master's collection set this is a more basic core part of the block series sort of booster box so we should be getting a lot more in, and we should be able to actually pre-order this stuff for people this time around. Um, anything else? New D&D Ravenloft book is coming out soon, so get your name on that. We've got pre-orders in from the supplier coming in soon, so take keep an eye out on that. And that's really about it. Uh, new comics tomorrow, so let's go into the comics right now. Yeah, so we get here, we're starting at the top with... A lot, starting with a good chunk from DC, which is Batman Urban Legends. So we got two of the variants right here. As best as I can zoom in, unfortunately, and clear out with the main cover here. And as, of course, you can see on the side, the covers that everyone was freaking out about, which is the Spider-Man 55s. Really good cover art, really good story wrap-ups. If you guys have been reading... Spider-Man since like the 800 stuff with the Red Goblin in this whole Spencer run. This Last Remnant series kind of ties the two together for the new guy who's coming in to write for Spider-Man. Which is potentially this book right here. So we'll see. Uh, it's still Spencer, so new costume stuff, so it still looks like he's going. But Spencer will be switching off from it. Unless Spencer is the guy who's doing it now. Uh, one of the two. He's either he was getting off the book series... Or he was getting, like, back on it, one or two, or, like, he was starting. Either way, got Blade Runner here, 2020, or 2029, which was 2027 in the system. But it's been all fixed. Got Children of the Atom, with all its cover, main cover, hidden variant, uh, like the hidden cover A, Daredevil, Deadpool, Deep Beyond, Mortal Hulk, Green Lantern, 
God of War, getting a book again, Eternals, Deep Beyond main cover, Mortal Hulk, Hulk main cover. We got Jokers coming out today, so jo the Joker number one with its variants. So we got that. Got Carmen, that's going to be a big one. Just keep your eyes on that, come by, take a look at that. It's one of my recommendations. Nonstop Spider-Man's got a number one out today. It looks kind of cool. Proctor Valley, another recommendation I check out. Uh, it's kind of got that uh, sort of like spoopy sort of feel to it. Really cool if you guys like Spectres Inspectors or Paper Girls or like Yell Neil Gaiman stuff. You'll like it. It's pretty good. It's boom. It's got that Boom Studio feel. Boom Studios really good at that sort of creepy and noir esque sixties seventies feel. I find it's kind of like their their groove, their their books, and it's definitely that. So go here. There's that Spectre Inspectors I talked about. Rorschach. Uh, if you guys missed Radiant Black number one, which was my recommendation for last month, number two prints are out with a really hella dope cover. So I highly, highly suggest checking that out before it's gone again. And as we get to the bottom here, we got Taskmaster, Master, there we go, Thor and Loki, uh, Jenica 2, Wonder Woman, kind of like, it feels like this might be ending soon for getting ready for Infinite Frontiers. Got four out of five for Wolverine Black, White, and Blood, which apparently Harley Quinn's getting one now too, so it seems like the DC Marvel sort of rivalry is like getting passive aggressive here because Wolverine did it and then now DC's doing it with Superman and Harley and then Marvel's reaps plying with Carnage so yeah then those guys who missed it Demon Days we got some reprints of first printings they are not second printings they are first printings so if you guys missed it we got some please be kind don't take them all but here we are and the slap with that, that is it. We got a bunch of uh, graph novels in the front here, a bunch of reprints and newer stuff. If you guys ordered any, they will be put into your file for tomorrow. But with that, I'm going to go. I'm already running late. Got to sweep up the front still. We'll see you guys in the morning.